Team Rocket Tom back at the Rocket Hideout. Happy Saturday to you all. Today's going to be a mail time opening. I've got a lot to get through, so I thought I'd post this on a Saturday. And I've also got some stuff that I got for my birthday as well that I'm posting a little bit late, but it's better late than ever, eh? Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. The first one is actually from my other half, um, my fiance Jem. She made me something for my birthday. It's got some swears on it, so caution here. Um, <laughs> she's made this, which is called Dally Bones. Now, both of our dogs are called Dallas and Bones. So she's made like a hybrid Pokemon, limited edition mind, um, Pokemon card for the two of them. Um, evolved from Dallas and Bones, as you can see, 1000 HP, which is pretty impressive for a dog. Um, mischievous Poker Doggins. Um, the first move it has is Bork, which is really annoying. Well, seriously, anyone up. Um, the second move is Stinky Nugs. Discards five energy to clear the claying poop stench. <laughs> which is basically our dog summed up in a nutshell. Uh, weakness, peanut butter, standard, resistance, you, and huff, um, which our dogs tend to do quite a lot. Uh, retreat costs 100 million treats or your soul. I think uh, one of them is pretty reasonable. Um, cute but psycho, never shuts up. Never shuts up. Lives a thug life of treats, snugs, belly rubs, and peanut butter. So I love it. I absolutely love this. This is us in a nutshell. She's done this all herself as well. Brilliant, thank you GM, I love it so much, thank you. Um, right, so next up we have got this one here. I believe this is from my friend Chris as well. Uh, I'll put a link to him below, he's given me some awesome cards for my birthday. Um, Venusaur, one of my favorites, absolutely love it. Thank you so much, bro. Um, yeah, the VMAX, I think this is from the new tin collections or the one with Blastoise in. I can't quite remember actually. And also, another Japanese Venusaur. I'm not sure what set this one's from. Um, is that a promo? Possibly, Poss possibly. But also, I don't have either of these, so awesome. Thanks, mate. Thank you so much for that. Uh, now, I've been getting some stuff on eBay. Um, I managed to get some stills, some little last-minute snipes. I got this Brock's Grit Full Art Trainer from Evolutions, which I don't actually have for my set. Um, I think I got this from four quid in the end, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, happy with that. It's a little bit off left to right, but for the binder, just to fill the gap, quids in, quids in. Lovely jubbly. I also managed to get from the same seller um, the reverse energy double colorless, which I also needed for the evolution set. I think I got this for three pound, which isn't too bad um, given some of the prices on there. So, the, yeah, I don't mind paying three quid when I got this for four, four quid. Bargain. Um, next up, I got some more cards. This is the Black Star promo Rapidash, and I also got it with the Hoa which is two cards I needed for my Black Star Premier Collection. Together, in a bundle, I got this for £15, which I think is reasonable, seeing as they're probably both about 10 to 15 anyway. So, quids in again. What a snipe that was. Um, I also got, I've got a bit mad this month. It was my birthday, so I had a bit of cash left. Um, i got another one here. This one is a Shadowless Coffin. Now, Shadowless is better to get than first edition no one's going to be able to afford first edition person well if you can then go for it i'm not saying don't but i think for people that haven't got that amount of money shadowless is definitely the best uh, thing to go for next base set limited obviously you can get them all day long but shadowless is just going to go up and up and up it's the next thing from first edition so i've been trying to grab some and get someone i can i think i got this one for like nine quid so I don't know, I don't know. Nine pound for the condition it's in, I'm pretty happy to be fair. Um, it's got a little bit of a nick at the top there, but other than that, it's not too shabby. Um, yeah, so it's another shadow list to add to my collection. Excelente. Next up, we have got a Zapdos. Now, I had a Zapdos, and I didn't realize it was fourth print, and me being the OCD person that I am, I had to get one that wasn't the fourth print. If you don't know what I mean by fourth print, down the bottom here, it says 1999 to 2000. Uh, there was like, it was not actually the fourth print of Fossil, but they did a fourth print of Base. So you got first edition, Shadowless, Unlimited, and then there was a fourth print, which says that down the bottom. And they put in Fossil with it for some strange reason. So my Zapdos was actually a fourth print. So I needed to get one to fill the gap. Um, and I got this one for four quid. Um, didn't really see that there was a little bit of a dent in it at the top there, but I'm happy. Again, it's just one for the binder. The other one I'm going to go get graded anyway because it's, it's packed fresh. Um, so I got that for about £4.50, something like that. Again, really good price for a, a hollow fossil Zapdos. And the only thing wrong with it is that tiny little dent at the top. And now, on to the next one. I suppose it's going to be a longer video than I thought. Um, I got an Unknown A. Now, I've got my first edition Neo Discovery Unknown A at PSA at the moment getting graded. Um, again, with my, my my binder having a gap in it, I had to get just a normal unlimited version to fill the gap. Now, 
this is mint, uh, mint condition. I saw it on there, no one had bid on it either. I think I got it for four pound again. So that's this this one, the Zapdos and the Brox. Um, Brox Grit for four pound each, 450, something like that, between four and five pounds. Absolute steal for a Pokemon card. Um, and this is just in absolutely minty condition. That's on the top loader there. It's not actually on the card. Um, so yeah, absolute steal for that, loving it. Now the last little bit I've got here is from um, JKR Discoveries, absolutely awesome channel. I'll put a link to them below, make sure you go check them out. Brilliant members of the community, they're always supporting everyone, and they do brilliant openings. openings. Um, they do so much different variety on there as well. Make sure you follow them because they have got brilliant content. Now, they sent me a little birthday present, um, which I, again, I'm opening it a bit late, I'm sorry, but this is just how it is at the minute. Uh, Dear Team Rocket Tom, huge happy birthday from all of us here at JKR Discoveries, and a huge thank you for being. Uh, I'm read. And a huge thank you for being a massive support to our channel. To say thank you, here are some spare vivid voltage cards, awesome, um, to help to your set since you've only opened two, and also a rapid strike booster pack we opened up on Saturday's Japanese video. Go check that out, it was an absolutely brilliant opening. Uh, stay awesome, stay safe, J Car Discoveries. P.S. Please take care of our first Lego card. Ah, oh, no way! <laughs> oh, this is going straight in my binder with everything else. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Living amazingly. That's what I'm doing right now with this card. I am living amazingly. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put him in the back there so he doesn't get crushed by the rest. So what have I got here? We've got a wind and stadium. All of these I need anyway, because I've, I've only opened up two booster packs of Vivid Voltage before. Uh, Alistair, Rockruff, Nuzleaf, Milkery, Ninkada, Galarian Meowth, Taylo, Picky Peck, Ryolu, B or Bia or Bay. <laughs> Woobat, Giraffe Rig, Cottony, and that is, that's awesome. That's gonna fill up the binder. Excellent, thank you so much for that lot. And was it Rapid Strike? Awesome, absolutely awesome. Let's get inside, I don't know what the card trick is. Um, let's have a look. Is it one? Is it one? I don't know, we'll see. Cool, so we've got a uh, heat more. Uh, I can't remember what that one's called. Or that one. Or that one, or that one, <laughs> but that's what we've got. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I've added them to my Japanese collection, absolutely love it. Thank you so much, JKR Discoveries. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much, Jem, for the awesome drawing. Um, brilliant, I love you all forever. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>